Office 365 users, this is Marie Henderson. In this video, we're going to look at getting signed in to your Office 365 account to access your OneDrive and upload files or folders that you want saved in your cloud storage. And so in your browser of choice, open a tab and you're going to navigate to portal dot office dot com and you're going to log in with your district email address and the same password that you use to access your district computer and so you can see here that I am using my demo account and already have the computer saving my password it's up to you whether or not you allow your browser to save your passwords that would only be best practice if no one else has access to your computer. And so we get signed in, and then you'll see the Office 365 tools here along the left side of your screen, but you can also access them through the App Launcher or the Waffle here at the top left. And we wanna pick OneDrive. If you use the App Launcher, you'll see the words OneDrive. If you use the tools here along the menu at the left, you're just looking for the blue cloud. And so we click on the blue cloud to open our OneDrive, and then here across the left side, we have a little bit of a menu where we can access different portions of our OneDrive. We can be in our own files. We can be in files that we've accessed recently. We can access files that have been shared with us or there are things saved in our recycle bin for up to 30 days. Here across the top, you have the option to create new things, including a new folder, or you can generate new files, such as Word, documents, Excel workbooks, PowerPoints, etc., using the online versions of those tools. Next, you have the option to upload, and you can do that with either individual files or a folder. We're gonna go ahead and try that out here now. Let's upload an individual file. So I'm gonna select File from the menu there. And then I'm just gonna go in here to one of my folders on my desktop. You can pick any file. If you hit Control or Shift on your keyboard, you can pick multiple files at a time. And then you can click to open and your new file will show that it's uploading here in the status bar at the top right. And then it immediately gives you the option to share that new file. It works much the same way if you upload a folder. So if we click to upload here and then folder, you can go here to the desktop. You need to upload your lesson plans folder for the year. So you click on the folder and then here in the bottom right, you click to upload and it warns you not to do it if you don't trust the site, but this is a trusted site. And so we click to upload. And so then we'll see here in our list of files, our new folder of lesson plans. And so it's quick and easy then from that point to share a folder. If you click into the circle next to the name of the folder, you get new tools here across the top. One of those is to share. And so if I click the share icon there, maybe I need to give edit access to this folder to someone else in the district. I'm just gonna choose my own name here. However, you also have the option if you don't want that person to have edit access to click on that link there at the top. In this menu, you have the opportunity to change it so that someone is forced to log in as well. And so we mostly use these top two. Does the person who's accessing the folder need to log in or not is our first choice. And then our second choice down here, do we need to allow them to edit the folder and the files therein? And do we want to set an expiration date or put a password on this folder. And so once we've made those choices per our current needs for this folder, we click apply. And then here we can click to send and it will send access to our folder via an email to the recipient of our choice. Your other option up here at the top is to copy the link. So this will give you a share link for your folder. Once again, you have the option to edit how the link works. You need people to log in to access this folder. And then do you want to give them edit permissions for the folder? And so once you've made those determinations, you can copy the link and then you can paste that into an email. You can add it to your Canvas course or your Seesaw class if you want to give students access, or you can add it to a website as needed as well. And so now we've uploaded files and folders here to our OneDrive and we've learned to share those too. As always, if you have questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.